This is absolutely Essendon. It's our round nine review. Bombers versus the Giants. Victorious by 20 points. Uh, we've gone from the last time we met, which was humiliation, to tonight. It was redemption. Or last night, whenever you're watching. Or three nights ago. But... Last whatever night. last night I think yes whatever even tonight what, 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 <laughs> this is hot off the press yes, right it is it is but uh, the bombers are sitting third on the ladder no. don't far don't know yeah, pulling it my leg just, it feels what? it's not right it's simply <sighs> not right but all I want to know is 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 That's patience is, is patience over. We still need, do we do we do we, do we still we still using that word uh, yeah no uh, the edge. Oh, no, 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 no. You, you waited 18 seconds to bring me here. I think it was the third word I said. The edge was a little bit sleepy in the first half. I think the, I think the edge was the edge still was jet bowl, lagged from the... Bowling ball-esque. Yes, it the was a very smooth, curvy, uh, soft, cuddly edge in the yeah. first half. But, the, you know, I, I felt... I felt it in my bones. Oh, did you? That at half time we were still only... 12 points behind, I think it was, two goals. Yeah. And they just could not put us away, and they probably should have. Um, they should. And I, I just felt that, you know, into the rooms, Scotty would have a little word. Yeah. Maybe talk about tanks in Tiananmen Square. Mm, you you, you never know. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, and 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 Zachy would have a word to the boys. Would he as well? Why, we, oh, of course he would. He would be into them going, come on, guys, come on, get up. Right. And, and they came out in that second half and I think just put their throat on the uh, collect, their foot on the collect. Hang on, throat. Toby Crean kicked the first goal and then. Okay, it was so it was a little bit after the <laughs> okay, half time so. break. But no, they, they just said, be gone, evil giant. And begone they were. A very, very good result for the Bombers. And I tell you what, the edge is the difference because like you said, uh, Joe, <clears throat> what was it, 10 rounds ago? Did I? What did I we say? We got thumped by 120-odd points by those. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Whatevers. And yeah. uh, so that's a big turnaround in just 10 matches. And I think it says a lot about where this team is going at the moment. A great win. Yeah. Fantastic result. And in the end, it was actually pretty comfortable. Yeah. I felt uh, we we just had control what? of that game in the second half. So once, once we wrestled control, it was an ugly start, let's face sure. it. Sure. Oh, but uh, if we can, uh, if we run with the arm wrestling metaphor, yeah. it, it was like we were, it was almost just touching the table and we just, like Stallone in that wonderful movie, oh, the Over the Top, oh, the 1987 probably. Oof. Slammed it down and and, uh, did, yeah. and and managed to uh, to uh, to move it. That that uh, that worm score, the score worm. Yeah. Uh, well, he was looking ugly in the first half, but then it uh, it swung right over. It, so but they never really pulled away from us. I think that was the that was the main reason for my optimism was that despite being pretty poor in the first half, yeah. and, and despite you know not bringing. The game, they still went in only two goals down. So, you know, that left the door open and the Bombers walked through that door very happily and yeah. uh, the rest is history. But the beautiful thing tonight, what I take mm. a much more comfort in is that last week I think we asked the question, would we have won against West Coast? without merit and the answer was probably not yeah um you know i think this time against yeah. gws it was a, it was a good good team oh, performance nice, very good point nice even yeah, very good point you must have been paying attention from your <laughs> jason recliner <laughs> oh, with a uh, love with it. a stubby in your hand tonight <laughs> but you're right because he was somewhat down on his normal incredible output i mean in the end he still had quite yeah. a bit of the ball and yeah. still did 24 magic possessions things. i think yeah but down on his normal output and you're right you know the Bombers are good without relying on Zach. And I think two young guns stood up again today. Uh, young Caldwell, who we were a little concerned might not have even made it into the side this week after yeah. having come off last week against the Eagles. Mm. And the man of the moment, um, I, I just can't find words to describe how unbelievably good Sam Durham has become yeah. in such a short time. I mean, how did that happen? Yeah. Uh, credit to the coaching team, the staff down at the hangar there. Yeah. They've just somehow seen something in Durham and gone, yeah, this is what we're going to do. We're going to take him from being an outside player to an inside player. And he is a mongrel. And yeah. he is everything. He is the edge. 
incarnate. Yeah, but you know what? Do you know what? That actually is a very good point. Yeah. He really is, because his metamorphosis has just been incredible. Dare uh, I yeah. say, inspirational. I, I, look, I've been watching this football club for a long time, as you have, and, you know, it's hard. I mean, it's hard to actually think of a, another player that's just come from being, okay, you know, pretty good, mm. no, you know, nothing too special, to suddenly becoming like, an absolute key linchpin in this sort of growing success that we're going through. Hold so, my beer. I've got someone. Oh, have you? I thought you might. King Kyle Langford. Well, uh, yeah, it's funny. I mean, that Come thought was on. going through my mind too. But let's be fair. Langford had quite a few years before he got to that level. True. I mean, true. Durham's true. really done and it in the it was two a, or three it was years. A, it was a slower build. Yeah. Whereas Durham, yeah. it's just gone. He like just that. over the summer, and like we we were seeing those photos come out from the, the hangar, and we thought Wolverine. Are they using filters? Yeah. What's going on here? It's real. Yeah. It turns out yep. they were. Real. Real. So yeah, yeah. A fantastic game from uh, from Sammy today, and I think you know he had about twenty five disposals, uh, but again hard <coughs> hard at the ball and and just throwing his weight around, fantastic. And and Caldwell as well, who we mentioned. Those two. I mean, it's it, is it conceivable that they are our best starting two midfielders mm. now? Mm. Uh, it's it's mm. just happened so quickly, and it's yeah. fantastic because it, it means that. Zach can have a somewhat quiet yeah, night. Yeah. Darcy, Darcy was yeah. a little quieter tonight, although also. he came came through yeah. in the second half. Yeah. But, yeah, fantastic effort from the boys. And I thought, talking about the midfield, Goldstein, I've got to say, he was fantastic in yeah. the ruck. I know you're somewhat not sure about the influence of a ruck, but I thought he was very yeah, influential. No, no, influential well, he time. was. He yeah. was, yeah, very much so. And, again, also, chips in around the ground. Yeah. Takes in some very good settling marks just to quiet and think, you know, calm things down a little. He's he's become incredibly well, valuable. I, I, I don't know what the, the hit-outs to advantage were, but I, I, he was way ahead of that guy that plays for the Giants. Briggs. Uh, Briggs. Briggsy, Briggs. Begsy, What's his name? Bogsy, yeah. whatever his name is. Mm. Uh, and it was just a master class in... And Subtle tap outs and finding the the guys who were at his feet. He did it really, really well. Mm. Uh, I want to talk to you. You mentioned Kyle Langford. What's your view of his game tonight? Oh, come on, come on. Come How did on. he go? I've run out of uh, I, I've run out of superlatives. He was five goals. Was, was it? Five? He was just uh, he was just magic. Because in that first, no, I think half, it was four. He kept us in it. Was it? Yeah, it was Let me four. have a look. Yeah. Oh, four. I'm getting excited. I can't no, one. Oh, I mean, with one. interest, yeah. it's five. Yeah. Um, all right. Okay. But uh, yeah, he kept us in. He kept us in it in that uh, yeah. in that first half. How valuable is he? Now, you know, you had Harry Jones probably missed one that was fairly easy. One yeah. that was probably a 50-50 uh, mm. for him. Mm. Maybe 60-40. Yeah. 65-35. Like um, but uh, and then you had Peter Wright as well, who uh, we'll come to him. Yeah. <laughs> Do we need to go? Do we? We will be. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I think it's worth mentioning. But no, mm. Carl, incredibly, incredibly yeah. valuable uh, in a game like that. But uh, honestly, even with him doing what he did in the first half, I just thought, oh boy, this is. Uh, uh, but I wasn't shocked. I, I, I knew this was a tough game, and I and I just thought, well, this is kind of panning out. Yeah. We're, we're there. There's been improvement, but we're not quite there yet. That second half blew me away. Yeah. Well, I tell you, Kyle's goal from the, I think he must have been close to 50 metres out when he, he yeah. hooked the ball around, curling it in. I mean, that's not easy to do, um, mm. and he did that very well. Yep. A couple of unsung heroes I wanted to sort of touch on tonight, straight right. after the game. Right. Um, this one's going to surprise you, and maybe it won't. I, I no. want to doffs me hat to Nick Hind. Yep. He, he cops a little bit. And, he and, does. And maybe sometimes that's that's fair. Mm. But I thought tonight he, he had his clearly his best game of the season. Yeah. And and really applied some fantastic pressure, cleared mm -hmm. the ball, ran with the ball, provided yep. creativity yes. and scored that exhilarating goal where he ran off the pack. He did. He drilled did. it through. He did. Uh, great game from Nick. And the other one I wanted to sort of yep. also give a shout out to, uh, although, uh, some, sometimes, you know, he's probably a little underrated, but we certainly know he scores very well on the looks department. <laughs> is Matt Guelphie. 
Uh, I think Guelphie, he kicked three goals tonight. He did. Um, Who would have thunk that? And put, three put goals. some real good pressure in uh, in that mm. forward 50. So mm. those two in particular had great games. And thirdly, if I might just add my favourite, is Archibald Perkins. Yes. Um, Archie Young. was one under the spotlight. We had him uh, featured in one of our Hot or Not episodes. So he would have been feeling the heat. Oh, he hit. probably had a few friends tell him to tune mm. in and have a look at that episode <laughs> because it would have brought home some you know, home truths for him. And he responded <laughs> he and did. I thought was very influential he tonight. Did. Uh, he did. Archie, he, he did. Uh, he had about twenty possessions, and uh, yeah, about over four hundred meters gained, which well. is not bad coming off a half forward flank. So good on uh, you, Archie. Pretty good job, Archibald. Good, uh, well good played, play. now, sir. Guelphie kicked his three goals. He's running with the. What's that, that celebration? Is, it's did, not did, that did one. You, did you see? No, no, there was no no nipple, nowhere near no the nipples. Bow and arrow. Again, I have no idea what that means, that? but Show I me know. The money. <laughs> Oh, is, is that? It, hey, oh. Hey, or is it but come what, at me? Come at me. What's the tongue mean? Yeah, is a, it a bit? Oh, does he have his tongue out? Is, there, yeah. Was it a bit Maori? Oh. Uh, but the, by the time he kicked his third goal, he was kind of over it. So I don't. I don't know if that <laughs> celebration's he? got any legs because yeah. uh, he, 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 he didn't do much of it for the third well, one. So, but if anyone knows again what that means, is it NBA related? Is he? Who is knows? He, who is he twelve point five percent Maori? I don't know. But there was tongue involved. Yeah. There was hair. Yeah, there was a bit of this. Um, if you could share with us. Uh, but uh, it was. What, what are you, what are you I'm trying, trying to, to scroll do? The, oh, that's yeah, how you yeah, do. I'm you not go. good with this yeah, technology. Yeah, all right, there but, you go. Uh, yeah, hey, so, this so, thing actually works. So that no, true. I mean, uh, Guelphy and uh, he mm. should celebrate too mm. because he he was very helpful in uh, keeping us in the game at some parts of uh, during the night and yeah. three goals. That look, that's all you want. And you know, small forwards don't need to get the ball that often. They just no. need to apply the pressure when yes. needed. Get a couple of goals a game, and that brings me to. <laughs> A couple of the players that probably didn't perform tonight. And, I, mm. I, you know, I'm, I don't want to focus on bad performances. I'm a new person this year. I like to focus on the positives. But uh, firstly, Peter Wright, I'd like your, your views on Pete's game. And young Alwyn Davey, I, I'd be very interested to hear your... <laughs> Your thoughts on well, his performance? Well, tonight. let's start with ADG. He, he he kicked that. There was a bit of magic with that first goal for uh, for, for us tonight, yeah. where uh, he did work 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 the player nicely. So, what does that tell control. you? Is that just a fluke, or does that say that's what he's capable of? I I think that. I, I'm just not sure from a traje- from, you're ready. A, from a trajectory perspective. Um, I just I don't know whether we're going to see enough of that yeah. to justify his place in <laughs> the side. But there's definitely That's some all. skill on show. Definitely, yeah. definitely. And I was happy for us and for him. Yeah, absolutely. True. But when you look at who's sitting on the sidelines, I don't know. I'm, I'm just uh, <clears throat> his brother. Well, as well yeah. as well as a few others. The good brother. I might yeah. add. Uh, and, uh, yeah, so it's always the I, I think I know, look, we, we had the Wiedemann run last year where Scotty was picking Wiedemann week in, week out, despite you know pretty poor form. Mm. Uh, I suspect that's the same thing with Alwyn. I think Scotty's just going to persist with him. Whilst we're winning, he's going to give him every chance to become acclimatised to that level of football, playing at that level of football. But, yeah, my view hasn't changed from the last week and the weeks before is that he's just not physically ready. I just don't think he can impose himself on these bigger bodies. Um, But, yeah, I thought his goal was magic and it just showed what he is capable of. So hopefully we'll see more of that. Peter Wright, uh, you know, look, my my view is he, he was just... Missed timing his jumps at the ball. He w- did he only take two marks? Was mm. it? Mm. Yeah, I mean, I'm surprised it was two. I could oh, count I, I, many I that he didn't take. Mm. What's going on with him? I don't know. Is he still a bit injured? But he's been pretty good with his marking this year. I know he had the four weeks off with the uh, that ridiculous suspension, but generally yeah. he's been able to grab the ball. Yeah. But it reminded me of last season when he was very poor. His timing yeah. at at the jump was wrong yeah. and he's just not imposing himself physically I mean he's a big guy but he yeah. just uh, was it Sam Taylor playing on him tonight for yeah. a giant Sam, I, he just gave him a bath I mean he, yeah he just doesn't seem to get any space for himself yeah 
that's the uh, that's a problem, and it's just such a shame because he's dead eyed dick with the ball. Yeah, just can't get it in his hands. I, I, I honestly can't remember him kicking the ball. I, I don't know if did he kick the ball. I don't know. What, what are the stats? It says, says four kicks. No, I can't remember them. They've given I can't a remember couple them. Of I don't think so. Yeah, I th- I yeah. Think. But no, Peter Wright. Now that brings the question up in terms of look. Of course, they'll continue to play him, and, and you should. But uh, I'm just wondering whether there's scope for you know. Perhaps a Nate Caddy at some point yeah, in time. Yeah. Give them a run. Maybe we with Langford at full forward, we don't need the big tall marking target. Yeah. Perhaps a couple of Jonesy and a Caddy sort of floating around. I would have, I would have thought there's knows. serious justification yeah, to I'd, give that a try. I don't think Caddy set the world on fire yet in the in the VFL, but yeah, perhaps yeah. he's a sort of player that just will make it happen if he gets his opportunity. Yeah. So um but yeah, I think Christian Peter marks Wright's there. Uh, he's, he's, uh, he's, he's Really got mm. to to do something about his there's form. Some, yeah. There's some there's some there's some question marks. True. So, what else do we make of the evening? What do, what, what do we give the goal? Uh, I mean, the umpires. Look, I thought the umpiring was fine. I mean, it, it, we didn't notice game. it. So no, I, I, I don't think they had any significant impact on the game. There's a couple of poor decisions, but but I just think you know overall in the second half. I mean, what what really impressed me was our ability to take control of the game, and that's really what football's all about controlling the game being being the team that is setting the agenda not the team that's reacting to that and I felt in the first half we were reacting to uh, the Giants sort of somewhat dominant performance but in that second half we completely controlled the game yeah. we, they did not get a sniff I think they only kicked three goals after half time yeah. uh, and, and that is an absolute credit to the team to the to the whole setup the coaches yeah. to shut down a team, by the way, that is one of the premiership favourites mm. like that, to keep them to three goals, yeah. you know, and Toby Green, well done, Jake Kelly, by the way. I yeah. thought he, he played really, really well on he Toby did. Green. He did. But Toby Green had no impact on that game in the way he normally does. He kicked a couple of goals, but apart from that, he really had no influence. So, yeah. Yeah. so I mean, the Bombers can really hold their heads high, I think, after yeah. that performance. That is, a, a, I mean, each week we're starting to see performances mm. where you go, that's what we want to see. Yeah. That's what we've been looking for for so long, and they delivered it again at Marvel tonight. It feels most unnatural. Now, GWS, you're talking about the scoring, I think they were averaging 100 points a game, and so we right. kept them to 62 points, which again is a, a pretty good yeah, indication. Good, good that that defence that, that is missing a couple of uh, key personnel. Not so much an uh, orange tsunami, but more a little ripple across a pond they, they were tonight. Just a squeeze from a nice Valencia. Yep, and it was great to see all 14 of their uh, fans coming down to, to Melbourne and, and uh, filling Supporting up them. a row of seats behind the goals there. There. Doesn't the AFL just organise other people just to wear some orange? Yeah, I think they do. Sure, Actually, there was a couple on the train. Were I they? said, oh, boys well. down from Sydney. said, oh, no, mate, we, we, we live in Balaclava. Yeah, we go for the pies. <laughs> but 50 bucks can't be turned down. <laughs> Right, I knew. I had a theory. I yeah. had a theory that that's what was uh, that's what was happening. How do you so- reckon we can make this episode a little more humorous? <laughs> Uh, we're struggling on this one. I think it's the late night. The, it's, let's it's like do midnight it. to let's, midnight to dawn let's, sessions let's don't not, work so well. Let's not do I'm it. I'm a little tired to be honest. Up. I've just come straight from the bloody game. So let's not do it straight up. As the you game. can see, so yes. maybe hey, that's very nice. Well, it's that, better than last that, week's scarf. I, that's some very nice this, merch. This isn't the possum hair one. Is this what 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 what's uh, What's their range? The, the, well, is, what part of their range this is This is Spanish Merino wool. It's sort of... Uh, uh, is it? It's a 150th it, exclusive limited edition. It, it feels like pure uh, polyester. Yeah, very nice. But, uh, it, no, no, it's, uh, no, it's, it's lovely very nice. Very, Sweating uh, up a little bit under very, the studio lights, very of course. Yeah, so am I. Yeah. So there you go, yeah, uh, Smoking. Anyways, I think yes. I think to, to bring this to a happy mm. conclusion mm. for all of us... Um, <laughs> Hey, do you know there's a there's a goal umpire there tonight? He gets regular work, but he's an ex AFL footballer. Oh, was hey? that Roden? And uh, yeah, David yeah. Roden. And he, every yeah. time he does the yeah. motion, he's always a smirk on his face, like it's his it's his brand. So the bombers have the edge. Yeah, he's got the smirk. He's the smirk. It's. It, I don't know what he's, he's he's saying. It's like I'm not sure that was a goal. Well, he's transitioned yeah, from yeah, a think. stellar career as an AFL footballer to being an inconsequential goal umpire. So well done. No, he's a good guy, David Roden. We love him. Yes, he's a fantastic do. lad. Uh, but look, I'm thrilled. The bombers are now undefeated in what five, six games, five games, six games. It, I can't remember. Uh, it ha- ever since that ugly night yeah, the in Port Adelaide, Adelaide yeah. when we uh, we came out all fire and. Broomstone. 
and okay. we've got Didn't take it well. I think uh, is it North Melbourne next week? We have, and the Tigers the week the after. Tigers, then a bit of a Gold Coast uh, action. Then up to up the, the uh, up to the uh, people's first stadium. whatever it is, mm. and uh, I mean they're beatable too. So we oh, could. No, don't say that. I'm going to say it. I'm on board. Gods. Lid is no. off. We do, are going to come up against Carlton do, and be what with uh, what well, are we? We're six now. Nine, so you're saying nine, we're going to be nine? Nine. Oh, no, don't say that. That King's Birthday Eve or whatever it's called. Don't. Do it for the king. And he just got over West Coast. No, we're fine. We're getting better every week. Get on board, Joe. Get on board, mate. No. I'm here to keep that. Geez, you're scarred, aren't you? I am. You are really scarred. Stockholm Syndrome, whatever you want to call it, I'm beaten down. Okay. Well, look. I'm like the guy in Shawshank Redemption when he was you in solitary like, confinement. You, you want to go the old reverse the psychology to <laughs> get yourself across the line, you do that. Hey, but uh, we'll, I'm, I'm we'll. more than happy with the way we're going out. This is fantastic for us older guys that have been, you know, we know what it was like to be a good team. and uh, We do. We you know, do. It's hard when you've been to the top of the mountain. It is. It so is. The and we took it for granted. We did. We and, really and, did. And I think. Never we're, again. We're kind of. Got climbing easy, back up again. Easy. Well done, Bombers. All right. Thanks again for watching. Thank you, guys. Have a great weekend. I know I will. He yes. may not. I will. Yeah, will okay. You? Just, okay. Just, you know, it's just subdued. It's all on the inside, baby. All, all right. right. Thanks again for watching. We'll see, see you, you soon. Very Cheers. soon. Bye. 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 Bye.